Thank you very much for joining me on this Thursday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Hurricane Nicole made landfall in Florida last night as a Category 1 hurricane, now a tropical storm as expected, getting tied up into a front, and that will draw the flooding back toward West Virginia, Virginia, and parts of the Carolinas, even parts of uh, Georgia. And we have some structures that were damaged heavily along the coast, east coast of Florida because of that onshore flow the last few days. Bahamas as well, thinking of you, trying to recover after that hit yesterday from Nicole, but again, that is all lifting up to the north. Now our focus shifting here. We had the, the flooding yesterday in Trinidad and Tobago, a strong tropical wave moving by. Now I'm not seeing any signs of tropical organization out of this, but again, we don't need that to get big issues. This is how we started the season with heavier weather here, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And now this is how we're finishing the season. ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, back through Northern Colombia, Northern Venezuela, scattered to widespread rain and storms and that flood potential. Not as much Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, scattered showers and storms. Keep an eye on us here, but clearly the focus here Barbados, St. Lucia to the south, even keeping an eye on Dominica, uh, Martinique, uh, Guadeloupe for a higher chance of some rain and storm. So here it is. This is later today at 4 p.m. Here is the flood threat. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, up through Barbados, seeing some of this rain filter in. And here's why we had a tropical wave move by. And since it moved by, we're on the backside of it, that easterly flow drawing in the rain and storms. Not as much up here, but more so down here. So yeah, some scattered showers and storms, Virgin Islands, British and US, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda. But look at that as we move forward into four o'clock tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, there it is. Some of the same spots seeing the rain and storms. That's why we're gonna see that flood threat continuing and getting worse in a little resurgence as this wave moves by look at Jamaica Haiti Dominican Republic we'll see a slightly better chance of rain and storms I'm going to keep an eye on this sector too now let's move forward into your Saturday here's Saturday afternoon scattered rain and storms here a little more of a flare up here not so much Cayman Islands but Jamaica on Saturday a better chance of some rain and storms so we'll keep an eye on this as that tropical wave will be nearby so watching Jamaica next down the road for that higher chance of rain and then pulling forward into a uh, Sunday kind of hard to tell but I'm going to keep an eye on this again it looks like some moisture is going to be over here we'll see if anything wants to spin up over here and I'll, I'll monitor what that does kind of next down the road so it is going to stay active not just the next couple days uh, with the flooding we're seeing in the Eastern Caribbean. But even as we go forward into next week, we're going to have some more tropical waves to watch. So a very busy pattern as we get into the middle of November. Here is the flood threat, the highest St. Lucia in South for that higher flood threat. The tropical wave moves by more in the way of scattered storms, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Southern zones, there's that better chance of rain, more widespread rain and storms and that threat of seeing the flooding, including Guyana in northern uh, Suriname. So as far as the rain is concerned, now look at this sector here, anywhere from uh, Grenada back through Trinidad and Tobago. See these brighter colors, these deeper purples? That's 125 millimeters of rain, and that corresponds to about five inches of rain plus. Now, as you know, we have smaller islands, some bigger islands. It just depends on where they set up, but this sector, definitely a threat for seeing some heavier rain. ABC Islands as well. We could see anywhere from at least 50 millimeters of rain, upwards of 125 millimeters, depending on how that pans out. This is through Saturday and Saturday, this model at least showing some of that rain nearby Jamaica, uh, close by or just offshore, but we could see 100 millimeters of rain potentially in Jamaica in some spots on Saturday. So heads up, isolated flooding as well for Jamaica down the road. Very active right now. So today, Nicole, a tropical storm merging with a front over into the United States, watching our tropical wave bringing rain in the Eastern Caribbean. The next three days, that higher flood threat, with some spots 150 millimeters or more, and that will lead to some of the flooding. And then as I mentioned, watching Jamaica, even over toward Haiti and the Dominican Republic, right now the focus near uh, Trinidad, but then we work our way back into the Central and West Western Caribbean, so trying to monitor everyone. So for today, here's that two-day forecast. 
This time Trinidad and Tobago, and we highlight different spots depending on where the weather is. Uh, the highest likelihood of rain right now here, a higher chance tropical wave to the west. So again, that easterly flow, 29 degrees uh, Celsius uh, today, but temperature is not really the focus. Same deal in Barbados, higher chance of rain today, 60-70% chance, and really over the next couple of days. So the name on the list that just went down, Nicole, still technically a tropical storm. If we get another spin up, Owen, Paula, and Richard, the next names on the list. Please be safe with the flooding. Please share this channel for safety's sake so we could get the word out because there are those spots. Again, Eastern Caribbean swinging back to Jamaica. This is the heads up for that potential of flooding with that new tropical wave. Thank you for being part of this community and have a good rest of your day.